In this tutorial we'll look at a few ways of putting a point on a curve. So I'm just going to go into Rhino and draw a quick curve. And then I'll bring that curve into Grasshopper. And now we'll look at um, the first one which is endpoints. So um, endpoints can be found under curve analysis. Curve analysis here. Um, and you just plug the curve into there and that gives you the start point and the end point. So you can always bring a point container out of here or just use the point directly that's coming out of that output and that'll give you the start point and the end point. Um, one thing you might need to do, like so if that's the first point and that's the second point, is flip the curve and there's also a component called flip curve and so if you plug the curve into the flip curve component and then plug the curve that's coming out of the curve output into the endpoints, it'll flip the curve. So that will now be the first point. So if your curves are ever in the wrong orientation, you can just use flip curve. Um, the next one is uh, the point on curve. And so this one is located here under curve analysis. And this just puts a point on the curve. So um, if you toggle this from zero, that would be the start point, and then one would be the end point. And so whatever percentage um, along that curve that you slide the slider to will, will create a point at that point. So that's nice if you have a you know want to put a geometry on a curve and then keep it parametric. Another way to do that is using the evaluate curve. So evaluate curve is located also under curve analysis. And so this is very much like the point on the curve. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, do a slider. And we can do our slider from 0 less than 1.000. And the nice thing about evaluate curve is you can be more precise with where that point is located. So I can have as many decimal places here as I want. Um, and that'll just give me a little more precision than this um, more generic component. So I'll plug that in here. And let's just put a point coming out of here. And I'll turn off all of these. Um, so you can see right now as I move this along, it's just barely inching along the curve. And that's because this is a real dimension. So this is, you know, that would be one inch along this curve. So if you want to be very precise with where uh, dimensionally you put this point on the curve, you can use evaluate curve as is. However, if you want to use it more like the point on curve, you have to turn this curve into a curve that goes from 0 to 1. And so you can change this to a proportional value as opposed to a dimensional value. And to do that, we do what's called reparameterizing the curve. So if you, any geometry you bring in, surfaces, curves, you can reparameterize those, which basically means, hey, Grasshopper, instead of treating this as a, a curve that goes from 0 to 57.5 inches, I want it to go from 0 to 1. And so that will allow you then to use this um, slider as a proportional slider, much like the point on curve, but with more precision. So if I right click on a geometry, you always have this option to reparameterize, which is right here. And that means treat the curve as a proportional um, evaluation from zero to one. So reparameterize does that. And so you can see now when I move the slider, it goes from zero to one. So that's the same thing. We'll encounter that when we start talking about surfaces. But that's a really important um, thing to understand within Grasshopper is the ability to reparameterize a geometry from whatever its actual dimensions are to the 0 and 1 uh, proportion.